of irreverence. The fight didn't end pretty, though it did look pretty. But at this point, I don't blame Floyd for the actions he made. It was clearly justified and within the rules. Yo, yo, yo. It's rocking, bros. I don't know what you've been watching. We'll be on a real style. With it's your boy Zente. It's your boy. Yeah. And we back like we never left. I spend it, I get it right back. I flip it, I spend it, I get it right back. It's my time, I'm about to attack. It's my time, I'm about to attack. Design on me, I'm feeling great. Design on me, I'm feeling great. Perfect time and I ain't never late. Perfect first things first, today's video is Floyd Mayweather's 10 toughest opponents. Floyd is the gold, man. There's no other way to say that. Mm. But. I will because go see Zab, if we got the people on here. The Zab got to be up there. It's 10 toughest opponents? Zab was tough. 10 toughest opponents. Zab wasn't a tough? Damn, I don't know. Because this nigga fought so many people, I can't even remember. So Zab wasn't shit. tough. Yeah, I guess. I guess you got to say... I want to say Pacquiao. I don't know if I want to say Pacquiao. I don't know if I want to say Cotto. I don't know if I want to say Ricky Hatton. Nah, he took. You can't say knockouts is tough. But he gonna put. Watch. Well, we just gonna see. We not even gonna talk about it. Cause watch, we gonna see. But yo, if you're new to the channel and you enjoy our content, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications. Please do. If you're not, you're not subscribing. When you turn on post notifications, you won't ever miss any videos. You know, every time we drop, and we drop consistently. So, yes. make sure y'all tuning in with us. But also leave a like on the video. Follow us on social media. Comment down below what other videos you want to see us react to. Let's hop right into this. Yes. I swear guys, I was really busy with work. I was a bit occupied the past month. See that cool dude randomly wearing a kimono completely out of place with what's in frame? Yep, that's me. Is that Cory Parker? Ah! Cory Parker! Ah! I got the flu. Immediately upon getting home, that set back any future projects, including my Inoue Donaire preview video which that fight already passed by. With that all being said, let's get started with the video. So in my previous video, I went in full detail with what Ortiz was doing and why Mayweather had his hands full with this fight. And it wasn't at all the fact that Ortiz was quick early and outweighed Floyd by 14 pounds. Ortiz fought an awfully dirty fight and Cortez's performance was possibly the worst performance I've seen in his career. So after numerous blatant headbutts, and one so blatant that it couldn't be ignored by Cortez, where he was forced to stop the fight and take a point off, Floyd had had enough, and the punches he was going to throw Ortiz's way was going to end Ortiz's career at the world championship level and into the shadow realm of irreverence. The fight didn't end pretty, Though it did look pretty, but at this point, I don't blame Floyd for the actions he made. It was clearly justified and within the rules. This was a fight. So the only thing I was gonna say though, okay, but I already said that dude was cooking. I mean, he was fighting dirty, but I didn't wanna put that because of what happened. I mean, but technically, I mean, Floyd didn't cheat, obviously, but it wasn't the proper way of a, a boxing fight is supposed to be. So I guess technically you can say that was a tough opponent. Bro, he was fucking headbutting him the whole fight. He's so, exactly. So him dapping you up and then poofing your melon. That he did that because he knew it was going to be a tough fight. You get what I'm saying? Like it was also it was retaliation, but he also did that because he probably thought like, yo, this nigga about to be annoying, so I'm gonna just take my chance. But he probably was already he was, he was winning that whole fight. So it doesn't make it a tough. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. No, like, right. This made this was a tough fight. That dude was a tough fight. Floyd wanted to establish his respect in the welterweight division after coming on the scene big against Sean Ben Mitchell at his first fight at 147. Floyd was against an in his prime opponent and just recently undisputed welterweight champion. This was for the IBF and vacant IBO title. 
Floyd in his early fights, he would drift away from the game plan and be quick to brawl, believe it or not. What made Floyd so great when he was developing over the years? He quickly found out at Junior Welterweight that he cannot be banging it out all the time with these guys or he won't have a long career at all if he doesn't stick to the game plan to a T. This fight here is a perfect example of Floyd sticking to the game plan when at moments it looked like he may have to go to a plan B and fight fire with fire with Zab. Could have called, called it a knockdown but I don't know if it would have been a two point round and I believe you the one around anyway so. Early in the fight, Mayweather was being outpointed and outshined by Judah, who was a quicker man. He's behind on Harold Letterman's scorecard. I'm not sure we've ever seen that. And the bottom line is, we've got close competition in Las Vegas. Floyd oh, stuck to the original game plan and made some critical adjustments. This is this is this is pretty. Then Sad Judah just fucks himself up. This is pretty boy Floyd, bro. Money to disable Zab's offense and slow him down. By the halfway point of the fight, Floyd had completely taken over the fight and flustered Zab to the point of making the fight dirty, which made things worse in his favor. Floyd easily cruised to a unanimous decision. Mayweather is the rising tide, and Judah is less and less active as the fight goes on. Mayweather is fighting now, just shows his brilliant versatility. He's coming in like a brawler behind those gloves. He can outbox you, he can outpunch you, he can outbrawl you. In the Endo fight, Floyd threw everything but the kitchen sink. He may have underestimated Endo's toughness and let his hands go a bit too much. Mayweather with the right hand over the top, triple left hook, larping the right hand, brings the crowd to his feet. Much more of a slugfest than we expected. Floyd Mayweather promised this where he was forced to take a break. Endo started to rally himself into the fight. You suspect that Philip Endo has never seen anything like the speed and technical brilliance of Floyd Mayweather. believe he's coming back. You suspect that Floyd Mayweather has never seen anything like the courage and determination of Philip Endo. Courage, courage, brilliant determination. Look at Endo go. Stirring up a mini war, Floyd was able to weather what Indo gave him and get the stoppage and then seventh round. More action than you ever dreamed you'd see in a Floyd Mayweather fight. Round. What an unbelievable round. One of the great rounds of the year. The Pacquiao fight was a tough fight and closer than what the judges saw upon inspection. But this fight doesn't make my top as Mayweather's toughest opponent. Mayweather had trouble dealing with Pacquiao's odd angles combined with his speed. evidently shown in the fifth round when Manny finally cracked through Floyd's defense. The commentary told one story of the fight, but if you're listening in to the corner, it told a different story. An uncharacteristic panic was in the corner by Floyd Sr. Adjustments needed to be made and be made quick. Floyd put on an inspiring performance, adjusting to Manny, disarming the left hand and the right hook, and taking the championship rounds to edge Pacquiao and a unanimous decision victory. This fight was Floyd's biggest test at Junior Welterweight. It was made known and known early that Floyd cannot be foolishly trading shots 
in this new weight class. Corley cracks Floyd, and for the first time, Floyd is genuinely hurt. He was able to weather the storm and come back with heat of his own that very same round to drop Corley. Floyd fueled by pride and rage, jumps on Corley and made him pay before cruising to a wide unanimous decision victory. Beats the point that Emmanuel has made several times. Such remarkable accuracy on his punches. There's two different types of Floyd. There's Pretty Boy Floyd, who's flashy and quick to step out of his defensive shell and brawl, taking a risk. And then there's Money Floyd, who is more defensive and takes a calculated risk. Pretty Boy Floyd, you wasn't even fucking allowed when a nigga would fight. This was the very last fight I recall. Boxing fans would see Pretty Boy Floyd. Stylistic changes had to be made if he wanted to progress through this division and to higher weight classes in the future. And as prideful and egotistical he may come off in public, it clearly shows in his future fights. He was willing to set that aside and change to better himself. With Maidana beating who the media crowned as Mayweather's predecessor, Adrian Broner, late 2013. For Mayweather's next fight, he will avenge the loss of his little bro against Maidana, May of 2014. Mayweather was heavenly undersized against Maidana in this fight. It was a tactical decision for Floyd to come in light on fight night to retain speed and stamina, banking on Maidana to tire out. Mayweather was 148 and Maidana came in at 165 pounds. Holy crap. On paper, he was in for hell. And at this moment, which Floyd had to really be careful and that was to weather Maidana's early storm, but keep it close. That was expected out of the gate. What Floyd was not expecting was Maidana to be as dirty as he was. Maidana was not taking any chances. The man was fighting like he bet his entire paycheck on himself since he was the 12 to 1 underdog. Floyd got cut for the very first time and it really wasn't looking good for him. Rafael Garcia, Floyd's cut man, to cool him down, and Garcia to later stop the bleeding after that round. Floyd was able to focus fully on turning this fight around, which thanks to his attack to the body early, mainly by jabs, he was able to set up big shots to the head later on and slow down the fight to his pace. Floyd did just enough in the middle of the fight and in the championship rounds to edge Maidana by majority decision. This fight was Floyd's first fight at lightweight and it was against an in his prime fighter who was mentored by the great Julio Cesar Chavez. It was not the best decision for Floyd to jump up and fight a guy like Castile in his first fight in that weight class. Not used to the weight and inexperienced, Floyd was in some trouble. When the fight was on the outside, Floyd was able to outbox Castile, but due to the fact that Floyd was not used to the new weight, he was able to allow Castile to cut the ring off to where Castile was able to really rake in some rounds and make the fight dangerously close to where spectators had Castile ahead head and the scorecards. Mayweather received his first real scare in his career and won by a questionably wide scorecard. There was an immediate rematch and Floyd was able to capitalize on everything he did wrong in the first fight, 
completely shutting out Castile. Personally, this was one of my favorite Floyd fights. It truly showed his intangible and how clutch he is under pressure. This fight was all Floyd till Cotto was able to utilize his jab. Mayweather could not get past Cotto's jab, and embarrassingly, Mayweather tried challenging Cotto's jab and gets popped off attempting. It's a ballsy gesture by Floyd, and most notably he did it against Marquez. Floyd gets hit by a perfect right hand by Marquez, in which he purposely recreates the same situation and challenges Marquez to try and land that right hand again. Marquez goes for it again to be countered perfectly by Floyd to where he casually goes back to circling the ring and resuming the original path he was on. This fight here, it failed and there was a new challenge. Floyd had to get past that and his broken nose. It was really disturbing him and due to that, Cotto was seriously raking in rounds and putting in a beat down on Floyd. No, my boy, you're shaking your head, but you're bleeding. Yeah, this round for Miguel Cotto, and there may be some more cards here. Kelly has broken money. Yeah, from him getting fucked up. <laughs> Cotto coming with no. big momentum into the ninth <laughs> round. Floyd noticing Cotto had slowed down just a little bit. Yeah, Floyd yeah, rallied yeah. and then noticed Cotto was unable to respond. He had punched himself out. Mayweather ended up stealing the ninth round. And going into the tenth, you can literally hear the frustration in Harold Letterman's voice when he knew that was the game ending round for Cotto. Depending on what Cotto did that ninth round, decided if he was going to win the fight or not. And Harold, who had seen thousands of fights, saw that. I'm really disappointed in Miguel Cotto because in round, in round nine, when he could have just closed up this fight, made it as close as possible, he didn't fight. He didn't fight the ninth round and it killed him. I mean, if he, I would have gone out there and punched like a son of a gun in round nine, and Cotto <laughs> gave it up. And it's a damn shame. Six to three, Floyd Mayweather. Mayweather was able to edge Cotto round 10 and 11 and completely take Koto apart in the 12th round. Bro, Mayweather is being, Mayweather is like a slow run. Going for the knockout. Look. Man. Almost fell forward. Floyd thinks so well going down the street. Man is shot at all times. It was boxing's version of a Tom Brady down by four running a two minute drill. This fight is high on my list because depending on how Floyd dealt with this, it may have resulted in his first career loss. Six rounds in and it looked like Floyd was cruising to an easy 12 round decision. It was like that until Floyd oddly lands a shot to the top of Carlos's head. Floyd felt it immediately and dropped to the canvas, resulting as his first legitimate career knockdown. Floyd and Payne ended up clearly losing the seventh round due to inactivity, was able to rally and fight past the pain and make it to the scorecards for the win. Are these knockout hands, I mean, they're in the band right here, see? Right, right over here you can see there's no knuckle. No knuckle right here. Right, right here. Everything you saw in the first Maidana fight came from this fight here. This fight was taking place right after the Hernandez fight where Floyd damaged his hand. Chavez fought his ass off and from the opening bell and on, Chavez was throwing 100 punches around. By the 8th round, Harold had Chavez up by one round. 
Round 9 was Floyd's biggest round. He was able to finally crack through Chavez's defense and get to him. Both guys were going at it in a toe-to-toe -to -toe battle. Coming into the 10th round, the fight was stopped anticlimactically. Floyd runs over to the HBO crew, telling them he punched himself out. Ronnie Shields reason to why he stopped the fight was he was starting to get really hit clean that round and obviously he wanted to protect them which that was a good decision this is my list of floyd's toughest opponents for more videos like these be sure to like and if you're so new no subscribe follow me on instagram for updates on future content nah, no shame mo shame mosley that was a good fight i don't know my buddy let us know what y'all think about that list if y'all yeah. watch boxing. Yeah. But that was Floyd Mayweather's 10 toughest opponents. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you leave a like. Subscribe, subscribe if you're new. new. Turn on post notifications. If you're not, you're not, not subscribe. Follow us on social, social media. media. Comment down below. Tell us more videos. Send us us. On YouTube, comment in the fucking community tab. Come on, man. Stand in the video. Shit, boy. Didn't that shit, boy. All right, my gun cocked and loaded and ready to go, bitch. Got my iPhone janking. Jankin'. Cause they see that I'm up now. They want to know when we link it. All that shit getting shut down. Gotta move like a kingpin. kingpin. City trying to get a cut now. All this heat that I'm bringing. Yeah. Bet I got what you want now. True that. True that. True that. True that. Walk in the spot, they like.